how to add a login and registration pop-up plugin on WooCommerce quick and easy tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can add a registration pop-up on your WooCommerce store. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you can simply log into your WordPress dashboard where you have created your WooCommerce store as well. And I'll show you how to add a registration form or a registration pop-up. Uh, this is for our WooCommerce and of course if you add a plugin on WordPress it can be used on our WooCommerce as well and it will allow us to create a website to create an online store that will have a registration. You can go for a free registration process like an, a, a login form or you can even go with a paid registration or login form. It's actually really easy. Let's get into the process. First of all once you get to your WordPress dashboard this is where you will get. Now you will go to the plugin section right here and click on add new. So here we have add plugins and what you're going to do is you're going to search for ultimate member. This is the plugin that you need to search for which is ultimate member and this is the plugin right here ultimate member user profile user registration login and membership plugin. This is a plugin that allows us to create a registration form or a pop up. So you can see number one plugin for front end user profile, user registration and login forms. It has more than 200,000 active installations and it is also compatible with my WordPress version. All you need to do is just click on install and once your plugin is installed, you're going to click on activate. You can see I have already installed this plugin. That is why it's activated. Once the plugin is added on your WordPress, you will be able to find it right here. You can see ultimate member and now you're just going to click on the plugin right here and get to the dashboard or you can directly go to the forms here it'll show you the forms that you have already created or the new forms that you can create okay so this is the inside of our plugin you can see i already have created some of the registration forms but for you i will create a brand new one once you get to the forms you're going to click on add new all right so here we can create a new form add a new form first of all give your form a name i'm gonna go ahead and call it a test registration form okay so this is the form that we have now select the form type registration form profile form or a login form now these are different types of forms that we can create a registration form is different than a login form of course and then profile form so we're going to go with the first choice here moving on we have our form builder now this is my form right now it's completely blank and i will be adding all of the different fields to it First of all, you will select the columns. We have like single column one, which will look like this. And then we have a double column like this. And then we have the third one right here. So I'm going to go with the one column one. I do not want to uh, complicate things. Or if you're creating such type of form, you can, of course, go with your choice. I'm going to go with this one. Now, to add a field to your form, you're going to click on this plus right here. And it will open up the fields manager for you. We have different fields available. We have set up new field or predefined fields available. Then we have custom fields. So you're going to actually go to the predefined fields to add some of the field for registration. This, this is for like more complicated, like the setup new field. Here you will find number, text areas, file upload, date picker, dividers, spacing, short codes, and others. And then we have predefined fields that are very simple. Username, email, password first name, last name, nickname, and others. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with first name that I want to add. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the last name. Let's add a lot of different fields so that I can show you. Then I'm going to add an email address that you have to enter. Then I'm going to add, let's say, I will be giving the option for Facebook if they want to add. So I'm going to go for, for Facebook. Then we have registration date, gender, country, language, Discord, YouTube, and others. I'm going to go with country. So country is going to be a drop down. They will enter their country. We can even go with some setup fields if I want to, for example, URL and others. So from here, I'm going to select a password. So this is going to be a setup where my users will be able to enter um, a new password. So I'm just going to click on add. And here you have to enter a meta key that you need to add so that every user can sign up and register. We also have others such as phone number. You will be able to find all kinds of fields here. Once you've added the fields, 
then you can edit them. First of all, we have first name. So you will get the option you can see. We have edit option, copy and delete. So you're going to click on edit. Let's say I'm going to go for like first name. Click on edit. It says edit field. So here I will be able to select the visibility, default name, enter the meta key, enter the title, enter the label, privacy, validate, maximum length, minimum length, or if it is a required field or optional. So uh, we can go with the required one. If I select this one, then this one is going to be like a required field instead of optional. So we have all of these different options. Once you're like, this is it, you will enter, you can create more than one sections to your form. Of course, you can add more layouts to it. You can add as many fields as you like. This is how it looks like. Then we can get a live preview. Click on the live preview and it will show you. So what I'm going to do is we need to publish first. But before publishing, you can check out these options right here at this side of the screen. We have create option delete options so i'm going to click on create obviously then we have short code customize this form like if you want to apply some more custom settings and privacy policy once you're done click on create and your user registration form will be created and now what i can do is i can actually add it as a pop-up into my woocommerce so for that uh, we can add a new plugin as well or if you already have such theme available on your woocommerce then it's very easy to embed a form so once the form is created, we can get a live preview. Click on the live preview and it'll show you the form. You can see we have first name, last name, username, Facebook, country. In country, we have a drop down and then we have register or login options. So people are going to click on register and they will be able to register for my WooCommerce store. How to add this form into your WooCommerce now. So for that, you can again use a plugin, go to the plugins and click on add new. So in your ad plugins, you will search for pop-ups and uh, this is the one that I personally recommend pop-up builder create highly converting mobile friendly marketing pop-ups. So why I am suggesting you a brand new plugin to do so because it actually helps you not just with your registration form pop-up but if you are struggling to create pop-ups on your woocommerce or your wordpress website then you can actually search for a, a pop-up plugin that allows you to create pop-ups and you can convert any kind of form or if you have some uh you know marketing or mobile friendly pop-ups that you want to create you can use a pop-up builder so this is the one that you can go for and it has more than 300,000 active installation install it add it uh, this will be added to your wordpress and then you can and of course create a pop-up of the firm that you just created for woocommerce even again you can add a pop-up really easily on woocommerce store uh, with your theme that you have just click on customize your wordpress and you will be able to do so but the uh, hard part was creating a registration form and that's what i showed you how to create a form it is also created as a pop-up form and now i can just publish it on my website on my woocommerce and it will be added and people will be able to register um, so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel